Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, the Let's Play with Neo Rambler. Right then, we are now back at the entrance to the Undead Crypt because I think now I have a good idea, excuse me, on how to get to the uh, secret place or the, the place where we can go and pray and, uh, and and get our humanity back. Well, I say our humanity back, we can turn as human. So we're going to go and investigate that first before we carry on with anything else. Um, I've also been told uh, where I need to go to progress with the story, which is grand, so thanks for that. And uh, a few other bits and bobs that I've forgotten. But once we've found this area and we've prayed for our humanity, if we can actually get that far, we or I can pause the video and have a quick look over the comments again. So I'll respond to them. So, yeah, right. Anyway, so that's all done. Now then, we're going to go back through where we were. Now, it's something to do. Hopefully, I've got this right. Something to do with this. There's supposed to be a stone path or something. And it's all a question of trying to find it. I think it's on the right. It's really hard to see actually because. Oh no! The... Is that the path? That's the path. Is that the path? Oh crap! Oh god, not you guys again. Ah, stop trying to petrify me! Uh oh. One now. He's trying to petrify me, and I've gone behind him and killed him that way. That's good. Right, yeah, I think this is it. This is the stone path. So we've got to follow this then, basically, and we're going to get really and utterly KO'd. What we do need to do, though, is not. F it, well, we need to change shields. Uh, we need to change back to our Gurm Great Shield. We need the fireproof shield on, because apparently, what we're going to fight against in order to actually. Um, do this thing uh, is some nasty, nasty creatures that like to use a lot of fire. Thank you. I'm chest over that. Let's hope it's not a mimic. Because it's very hard to see whether it is or not. It is not a mimic. It's a magic arrow set. Lovely. I've always wanted one of those. Anyway. Oh, and we need to go back to other. Right, okay, yeah, we'll do this. And there is, uh, there's one thing I have remembered. Ah, don't you dare. Examine. Use fragrant branch of your, I shall. Oh dear. And he's a zombie. Is he a zombie? Was he dead? Kind of hard to see. Yeah, he's dead. And there we go. Right, so this is where this uh, extra bonfire is, which is always handy. So I think I'm going the right way. Maybe I'm not. Perhaps I've gone a bit too early. Hollow required ahead. No, I am going the right way. Now, yes, you need to be hollow for this next bit um, in order to get through this uh, next... Uh, well, to get through the area that we need to get to. And as you can see, I am. Look at me. Also, confirmation that the Ring of the Dead only just makes you look human, but actually still keeps you hollow. So, there you go. There's that confirmed. Let me guess. Gorgeous view. Visions of Oddball, therefore try left. a thing but okay right okay through here we must go do you mean locked death for quite a head I'm hollow I'm hollow why didn't that work do I need a key or something I think you need to be hollow to get through it I am hollow what but I'm hollow Oh, I guess we won't be going that way then. Maybe the key's with the butterfly or something? Oh, I don't know. That's, that's not working. Yeah, might need to check the comments again just to, just to see um, if I've got things right. I think I'm right. I might, maybe I'm in a different area. Maybe I'm not quite at the area we need to be at. I don't know. Right, what we do know is I need to um, get ourselves a bow and arrow attached. Let's have a look, see. Uh, always near the bottom, Neo. Don't know why I've been bothered sort of going through that. Let's have a Dragon Rider bow and big arrows. Right, let's try this then. Okay, the Dragon Rider bow doesn't use the big arrows. My bad. Cocked up. Try again. There we go. Boom. Well, you dropped something. 
Now the trouble is, how do I get... But, but the... Wait, I can't... What the... I can't get back off the thing! Hey? Now I'm stuck! Let me out of it. I'm stuck! Oh, have I got to jump down there? Oh, you sons of bitches! Okay, maybe I've got to die from here or something? I don't know. Ah! Nope, didn't die. Damn. What's he drop? Oh, Radiant Life Gem. God fucking damn it. That's not exactly what I needed. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe I have to... I'm not sure. Maybe I have to die in front of the door. Maybe that's why there's a high point there. You die and then... It'll open the door? Question mark? I don't know. Let's try again. Nope, still locked. So hang on, let's see what it says. Death required ahead. Hollow required ahead. Right, so... Why is that not working then? Why is that not working? Have I just got to, have I got to die at this door? I'm guessing so. I don't want to die by those. Alright, well, well, we'll kill ourselves and then maybe that'll accept it. Because if it doesn't, then something doesn't seem to be working. Which will be interesting. Uh, maybe I've missed something. Right, here we go again. Three, two, one. Ready up! <laughs> right, did that work? I hope it did. Because I don't see any other reason to then do that other than just get to the bug. Find out. Right, we are now hollow. Will that have opened the door? It's still locked. So what in fudge's name's all that about then? How bizarre. Okay, I'm gonna go off screen, just reread the comment. Maybe I'm supposed to come back to this or something like that. I, I really don't know. But I should be back momentarily. Okay, so I checked the comment section again, and yeah, I think I'm doing everything right. So the fact that the door doesn't open is not... I don't understand. I really don't. It doesn't seem to want to work. Check the comments. Everything seems okie dokie. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Maybe that's maybe that's it. I mean, I'm at a bonfire, but maybe I'm not at the right place. Perhaps it's the wrong stone path. I don't know. I honestly don't. All I do know is I'm about to die. I'm about to get petrified to death. <laughs> Well, that's one down. How about the- oh god! They tried a pincer movement. Luckily though, I was shrewd. Ow! And then he did a jump spin kick death attack! Okay, that I wasn't shrewd to. Deary me. Right, anyway. Let's try and kick this guy's ass. I'm so, I th yeah, this is definitely the right place. So I've gone through here, and it said second pillar. It's supposed to be... Almost fell off there. It's supposed to be a stone pathway. It's not hidden, but it, this is the only stone pathway I can see. So I was like, oh, okay. So I've done that. Gone in here. Been here. Go up there. I'm hollow, by the way. And it doesn't seem to want to work. Because look, hollow required a head, death required a head. Death required a head and then door. Hurrah for liar. Right, done all that, and guess what? Doesn't work. What is going on? And I've reloaded the game as well. I've had to quit out and reload it because it, it all went glitchy and I thought, oh okay. But it's it's not working, so Do I have to be like really dead dead? Like at like minimum capacity? Do I have to have no humanities whatsoever? Is that is that what the game's asking me to do? Maybe that's maybe that's it. Maybe I've got to have zero humanity. I mean, maybe I can just store them away. I don't know. Let's find out. Shall try that and see what happens. Maybe this will do it. Nope, still locked. Okay, no idea what's going on there, guys and girls. Um, I don't... Wait, why have I got Dranglick armor on? I've had the wrong armor on this whole time. God damn it. 
Oh, I have no idea what's going on there. Maybe I have to be like so hollowed, like all my health is like as low as it can go. No idea. Didn't seem to want to work there, guys and girls. So not sure what's going on there. Perhaps there's a little bit more to it than I thought there was. But never mind. Uh, right. Okay. Well, we can always come back to that. Right. What we will do though is go back to the beginning of this place. Uh, because we need to go visit the uh, singing lady again. Because apparently at the Dranglet Castle, the singing lady or the green lady we freed from that Silent Hill cage was the sister of the one we've spoken to. And apparently she'll give us a nice present for, for, for doing what we've done for her. Uh, as in we've saved her. So that's that's kind of cool. I, I, I will... Uh, I would like a present. Especially after just... I don't know what is happening with that thing. Uh, as in, I have really no idea what's happening with, uh... Eh, I want to get into the item box. No! How do I... Oh, God's sake. Look, I want to get into the item box. Why is this so tricky? There we go. Stupid buttons. Um... I... 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 No idea. Fuck it, who cares? Let's, uh... Let's get present. And then we'll carry on with the... Story... That's a good idea. We shall go to the area we need to go to to make progression. Now, I think I haven't actually bothered using a bonfire sketch in this area, so a lot of the enemies here are going to be dead. Which is good, because that means it's a nice clear pathway then to the singing lady. Hello, I freed your sister. We hear a song in the distance. You rescued <laughs> You hear someone laughing. Who was taken from us. Yeah, I accidentally killed one as well. It went hollow. My bad. We, Melfinito, thank you. That's all right, but I did kill one by accident. She was going hollow. Oh, divine blessing! Oh, that's always helpful. Cheers. You quell that cursed singing. They may be of no use outside, but please take these. Okay, cool. Another divine blessing. Thank you. When we sing, the the little ones grant this. Okay. No worries, girl. Don't know where your sister is, but apparently she's at the distance, so I'm, I'm going to assume she's happy and everyone's Larry, so that's grand. Alright then, so two divine blessings for our trouble. That is going to be quite useful. Thank you. Alright then, so that being done, uh, we need to crack on with story. Now, uh, where we're going to go next is actually going to be quite interesting. So, uh, first off, we need to go back to the bonfire. We need to teleport to the area we need to go to in order to progress through said story. I did jump ahead, apparently, but luckily I haven't done any um, story time damage or anything, so that's good. So we need to go to the Ruined Fork Road. I forgot all about this place, uh, but uh, I have been reminded, as it is important to where we need to go. Da -da. A pickaxe used for mining, not intended as a weapon, but packs a powerful punch. Do we ever actually get a pickaxe? Eh, well, right, I'm going to use some humanity because we might as well at this point, or human effigies. I keep saying humanities, my apologies. I, it'll always be a humanity in my opinion. I, I'm just being a bit uh, silly there, I'm sorry. I'm going to say that's going to say lose the what? Okay, uh, does it have toggle? No, it doesn't. So it, it was an illusion amongst itself. Okay, right, so this is the way we're going to go, the centre pathway. I think I do remember seeing the doorway being this way. Let's put the King's Ring on there. I don't know if you actually have to actually have to have the King's Ring on, but I'm going to assume you do. Come on, you feckin... Whatever the fuck you are. Come on. Oh, is that big... Oh, that... Do you know what? I haven't got time for you. But you have time for me, though. Yes, apparently it's the big dude here that you fire wooden arrows at. Apparently he doesn't react to it, and therefore you can just take him out from a long distance, and it's really easy. Uh, that's kind of cool to know. But for now, I'm going to leave him alone. I really cannot be bothered to fight him. What I can be bothered, though, with is this big door, which is somewhere here. There we go. This is where they meant that lady from the bonfire. This is where she meant to go, apparently. So, uh, thank you for that. Uh, I think it was Cthulhu again. Cthulhu Lockhart, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Do, 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 do. We'll see where this takes us. I have a vague idea where it's going to take us. I think it was told to me in the comments, but we'll see. Yep, Aldia's Keep. This is the thing that keeps coming up from the bonfire. This is basically Vendrick's brother's place. We're going to enter a laboratory of some sort, apparently, as well. 
And there's something there that we have to be careful about. It's a bit interesting. Anyway, before we do, let's have a wander around, shall we? Now we can put the king's ring away, so I can put my uh, I'm gonna put my actually I'll put my item ring on because it's a new area. You know, obviously try and maximise our chances of getting items and stuff. Um, actually, I might wear the which one is it? Equipment. I forget which one is it that increases item thingy. I'm referring to the jester's thing. No, that's colourfy things. Is it the helmet? Is it the hat? Let's have a look. It is. Yeah, let's put the hat on as well. I know I'm going to look a bit stupid, but to be honest with you, actually, I think it looks pretty beastly. Um, in a funny way. Um, I'm only putting it on because I just want to increase item rate discovery as well, along with the ring we've got. Uh, it's just because it's a new area with new monsters, I believe, and therefore some items may be of use. You never know. It might not be. Oh, it's these things again. Oh, god damn it. Poison throwing. I don't know what these are. They're like, um, it's that weird animal that I forget. It was the Madagascar who played the. 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 the god, I, the I don't know. Marmots, I think, or something like that. I think it's marmots. I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking crap. Black Knight Halbard. An affinity. Black Knight Great Axe. And that is that. Well, oh, fair enough. Some Black Knight stuff. Head. An alluring skull. You're right, it is some form of head. Chest. Oh shit. It's a mimic. I'm dead. No. Ow. Couldn't see the teeth in it, that's why. Fair enough, Mr. Mimic, you got me good there. But I'm about to get you good. Arrgh. Malformed skull and a dark mask. I'm intrigued. Malformed mask. Wow. Uh, dark skull, I think it was. No, let's see if I can find where it is. Ah, malformed skull. The skull of some unidentified creature. Swing is a great hammer to use as a weapon. Uh, possibly the skull of a dragon. Rare specimen. Likely too rare to be swung with about willy-nilly. So in other words, durability might not be so good. Okay, fine. And um, we've got a mask for our troubles. Let's have a gander, shall we? Find it. That's quite creepy. I'm not yawning because it's creepy. It's just creepy. Mask of a Knight Subsumed by Dark. No one knows the true identity of these men who are said to freely manipulate Dark. Old foreign legends describe them as poor souls who chase the lost art of life dream. Goody. Well, I'm going to stick with my Jester's Mask. There is one more item, actually, that somebody wanted to, uh, me to read the description of. Um, i just got to remember where it is. I think it was the item that we used to unlock the Silent Hill door. So I've got to find it. The Eternal Sanctum Key. Key to the depths of the Eternal Sanctum. I think this is the one. The Sunken King erected the Eternal Sanctum to shelter Sin the Dragon. The Sanctum appears to be a solemn temple, but it is filled with devilish creatures that ensure no trespasser shall cause offence. I think it was that one. I didn't seem anything special about it, unless I suppose it's to do with the Sunken King, which I think we've uh, come across before in the first game. I don't know. Who knows? Point being is, I think that's what he was referring to. Or she was. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. If not, I can always find it in the next video. So, in the meantime... Ah! Are you supposed to speak to you, my lady? Who are you? I am a jester. Oh. No. Forgive me. I know you. Yes, of course. We fought many times, you and I. Mostly off screen. How goes your journey? Yeah, it's alright. Yours? I know not what you seek in this fiery land. Uh, it's something to do with the I giant pray souls. For your oh, thank you. I pray for yours too. You're very nice. You're probably the most sanest character I've met so far. Please take these. Yay! And we've now got Luca Teal's outfit and weapon as well, which is kind of neat. Consider this thanks for keeping me sane. Yeah, you're welcome. You are the nicest character I've met in this game so far. I like you. My name is Lupatil. It is. I beg of you, remember my name. I shall do my best. I was actually told to do that. I may not myself. 
You will. Don't worry. Look, I've told you how to use human effigies, right? Okay, this is what you do, right? So you take it. I can give you a few to spare. I can always get some more. And then what you do is you take it in your hand and you smash it into your chest. And then it works. Hey, easy. My name is Lucati. I beg of you for a name. All right. You will, my dear. You'll be fine. Just stop being negative. Just keep yourself purpose, apparently. That's the whole point of Dark Souls. You stop going mad if you've got a drive or desire to keep going or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm a man with a justice hat. I shall see you later, Lucatil. And I shall try not to remember you. Uh, I shall try to remember your name. I shall try not to remember your name. <gasps> Salting. So, anyway, what? Let's have a look at her stuff, shall we? So, I'm um, sorry for sort of being a bit uh, delay here. I'm not trying to do it on purpose. I'm just intrigued. Right, Lucatil's blade. Let's so find it. I wish it was in like alphabetical order, like how to sort this out. Oh, I suppose actually it can do, isn't it? Is it white sort? Oh, here we go. By effect, attack rate. Damage reduction. Yes. Rather have alphabetical order, but whatever. We'll find it though, it's trouble. Ugh, oh dear. Sorry about this. I do apologise. I shall find it momentarily. I might even gone past it, so I hope not, because I tend to go through far too quickly. I haven't been able to find it yet, but I'm sure it'll be here somewhere. This is very, very annoying. It must be at the top here somewhere. It's got to be here somewhere. Oh, come on! It was definitely called Lucatil's Great Sword. I was pretty confident it was. Not the malformed skull. It seems to be. I'm sure it is, because these are all like, I think it's, they, this game does organise things into like, um, I think it does organise things into weapon categories. It's not here, is it? Is it Flamberge? Nope. Oil Greatsword, Murakamo? Nope. It's got to be here somewhere. I must have. Oh, was it the Mastodon Greatsword? Uh, nope, wasn't that one. Oh, the Mirage Greatsword? Ah, here we go. I see. There's where I was going wrong. My apologies. I was being a complete derp there. Right, the Mirage Greatsword. My apologies. Greatsword issued by the Proud Knights of Mirage Official Order. This was wielded by Lucatir. This Greatsword demands advanced skill and a very unique sword technique. A tiny message described in the blade promised to someone special. Oh, bless her. Cool. Alright then. Sorry about that, that took way longer than it should have done because I'm stupid. With that done though, and my stupidity eventually conquered, we can now roll on. Uh, well, at least walk on anyway. Let's have another fire seed for our troubles, good times. But at least now it's nice to know that she has stayed, sa uh, stayed sane, and that, that makes me happy. Right, anyway. This place, on the other hand though, is apparently quite, uh, quite interesting. Radiant life gem. Probably going to be handy. Hurrah for right. Right, hurrah for right. Hurrah for right. Somebody's been a complete douchebag and gone hurrah for left, let me guess. Yes, they have. God damn it. Think carefully. Yes, I have been forewarned about this. That's fine. I'm okay with this. Lie ahead and then hurrah for pointless. Of course. So this is essentially a laboratory. This was um, Aldia's laboratory in his efforts... Okay, well, let's deal with this then. Um, this is um, Aldia's laboratory, the brother of King Vendrick, the thing that came out of the bonfire that looks really unholy. Um, in his search to try and find a cure for the curse that afflicts us all. Wait a minute. Al is this what Lucatil was promising? This is Luc Yeah, it is. It looks like Lucatil, but it's not. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I think I've got to remember this guy's name as well. Woman's name or whoever it is, Aslatil. I might need to make a note of that. Aslatil. I think that was the one she was after with the sword. Aslatil. Right. Uh, I've got. A, ah, I actually have pen. And I have paper. I'm going to write that down. I might not spell it correctly, but I'll try my best. Uh, Aslatil. 
And I'm just going to put Lucatia down just in case. There we go. Sorted. Oh, of Murrah. Must put that as well. Just in case it's needed. There we go. Sweet. Okay, got those down. Right, cool. Let us uh, walk forward. I've noticed that thing moving, which is interesting. I should worry about that bit. Sadness, in short, friend. Nice job, torch. No, we're not going to worry about that torch. Ooh. Holy. Wow. That's, that is not something you see every day. Big, giant, fuck-off skeleton of a dragon. I mean, I am aware that the dragons were wiped out at the beginning of all these ages. As I think that was what the opening of the cutscene of Dark Souls 1 was all about. But that's a fuck off huge skeleton. That is some impressive shit right there. A plus for design efforts there, lads. From from from, so from 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 software. Your name though, on the other hand, needs fucking changing. But intriguing. A fading soul. That is so cool, by the way. That is that is badass. I like that. That's that's fucking cool. Don't you dare. I shall not. Now then, there's something about this area. Not sure whereabouts it is off the top of my head. There's a fog gate that way. Not going to go through there just yet. There's something about this area that um, is quite interesting. This might be it. Pull back. 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 This is the thing. I think this is it, isn't it? Read message. Don't you dare. This lever. You can pull if you want, but all those messages back here that says pull back, these were left by the developer apparently. We're going to heed their warning and we are not going to pull said lever just yet. There's a reason for that. Do, 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 do. Now, the trouble is, can I get up the stairs? That's the main thing. I think I can. Intriguing, very intriguing. This is really cool, by the way. It's like the Natural History Museum in London. <laughs> Just walk in, big fuck off skeleton. I love it. Right. Oh. Ah! Hello! I was expecting something of some sort of calibre to come out of these mirrors. I just hope it's not a recurring thing. Let me guess. Can I break the mirror? I cannot break the mirror. Looks like he... Christ, what happened to him? It looks like he's coming out of the mirror. Oh no, no he's not. He's being dragged in. Oh, like the alternative dimensions. Oh, that is so cool. You can see them trying to break out the mirror. That's really cool. I like that. That's pretty impressive uh, imagery there. I like that. That's real awesome. Creepy, but awesome. I wonder if it's got something to do with this Queen of Vendrick. Maybe this is her stuff. A Northern Ritual Band plus two and another Petrified Dragon Bone. What the fuck is a Northern Ritual Band? I'm guessing it's not something we can use for our character build-up. But we'll have a look at it nonetheless. Increases spell uses, but reduces HP. There you go, then. Cell Sword Luet. Let's leave that person there for now. Hello! Boom! 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 Just not a threat to me anymore, sir. Bright bug. That's useful. That's very useful. But those mirrors are cool. I like those mirrors. Be wary of mimicry. I shall try. I got caught out by mimicry. Maybe I shall be caught out again. That's not a mimic. Great magic barrier. Lots of scrolls here, which uh, 
Eh. Don't really care, but I shall pick him up anyway. Where of mimicry. Alright. Oh. Bollocks. Oh, fuck. Fine. <laughs> I was expecting something like that. Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. I'm gonna fight this fucking out. Oh, God. Ow. Damn it. Look, Jeff, honestly, bro, it's nice to see you again in a game, but. Really, really don't want to fight you. But okay, fine. Come on then, bro. As long as I get a chance to roll back, we should be alright, but that doesn't mean that he won't go and pick us up and try and nom 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 on our head. Which he probably will, give him half a chance. But he doesn't seem to want to at the moment, I seem to have got him in some sort of impasse between walking backwards, punching me a couple of times. That could now change. However, he's dead, so that's fine. Phew! And he drops an item. Ooh, Dragon Acolyte Mask. Nice. Whatever that is. I don't know. Dry tongue and then woman. God damn it. Look, it's not a real woman, okay? It's a statue. I mean, I'm not that desperate to tongue a statue. Ah! We came across one of you before. Ah. Bugger my arse. I think where I wanted to go, or at least where I want to find something, I don't think it's this area. I think we've gone the wrong way, but whatever. So we'll continue on exploring this area for the time being. Did he drop an item? He did not. Selfish bastard. I'm not going to unpetrify them. Or them. I think it was a third one. Is there a third one? No. Intriguing. No, I'm not unpetrifying them. Fuck off. Use an old radium life gem though to save some stuff. Be wary of dark spirits, short torch required ahead. I'll take your word for it. Well, I have to say, some of these messages have been rather misleading lately, but, uh, okay. Oh! Will that be intriguing? Oh, this guy's pretty beasty with his scythe. That's impressive, I like that. Man, this place is awesome. Ow. The trouble is though, is this guy doesn't seem to be deterred by anything of late. It's probably a very foolish thing I just did there, but luckily it could have been a lot worse. I'd be surprised if I... Oh, I'm going to survive. Just. <laughs> Phew! Got him. Got some souls for our trouble. No item, though. Jerk. But still. Chest, by the way, left. Thanks. Not a mimic. But it's a bonfire skeptic times two. Do you know what? They're always useful. Ooh, what's that say? Try locking on and then look carefully. Earth do you mean game? I mean message. I mean message in the game. I don't know. Oh well, whatever's. Message ahead. Message? <laughs> whatever. Right, let's go down here then. Actually, before we do, let's go in this room over here. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Horse butt wings. Does that open this door back here? This door is not even openable. 
I'm not going to do that. I will do though, or what I will do is use a repair power because my uh, sword is starting to show a bit of damage. That's better. Hmm. This place is interesting and scary and weird. But I guess if you're a mad scientist looking for a cure for something, you would be. Right, okay, well that's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting something a little bit different, but never mind. What we will do instead then is I could pull I don't want to pull that just yet. I want to find something first before we do any pulling of anything really. I think we've got to go through this fog gate round here. I think that's where I've messed up. We're basically looking for someone. And it's connected to the lever round the corner behind us. Uh, that we do not want to pull. So with that being said, let's go through here, shall we? Please, just stay away. Or instead, that is no, why we actually needed to find. Nothing good will come of it. Well, I'm not opening the lever thing. I think this is what we were looking for. My bad. I completely missed it. I thought it was a fog gate. Just leave me alone, please. Leave this place and leave me be, as I'd not see any harm befalling you. Oh, trust me, there'll be harm befalling me. Don't you worry about that. Please. I can't, I'm not allowed, I have to nag you. Please. Please. Oh, alright. Fine. I will I will I will not then. I think that's the the thing I was looking for. Is some guy or monster or something behind uh uh he's like in a prison cell, probably that thing. And I think if you go and pull the lever, it'll unleash the sort of mystical shield that guards him, and then he comes out and he's all pissed and he can do lots of damage. Probably the main reason why he's saying please don't pull this or that. I will not do that as of yet. And apparently he can talk to us and give us quests, but uh, he's refusing to do so for now. Also, I can climb up the dragon's bones legs, but whatever's, there's probably something for it. I don't particularly care. Let us, however, pull this then. Yoink. Uh, it opens doors. Oh! Ah, there is a big cage thing. Maybe this is the thing then. Enemy ahead. Is he going to fall down? No, it's not that one then. Radiant life gem. Uh oh. Can he get out? No, I don't think he can. Oh, good Jiminy Quick, it's like something out of Resident Evil again. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. What's that message say? Bonfire, right. don't see a bonfire, I just see a makeshift chemistry, uh, chemistry lab. Sweeping attack ahead. Try left, illusionary wall. Holy shit! <laughs> For once, it worked! And it's a bonfire! Nice! Groovy! Well, that's made me a happy bunny. Alright then. So we have ourselves a hidden but safe bonfire. Cool. Right, let's have a look down here then while we carry on. It's probably a really bad idea, but still. I wonder if maybe it's one of these guys. Must be him. Nope, not him. Okay. There's supposed to be someone or something we can speak to. It's really bizarre. Ah. Oh, the fucker, duck. Ugh. I should have expected that. That was cool. I'm not going to lie, that was really cool. <laughs> that got me good. Trouble is, though, is whether I can actually... Trouble is, though... Oh, damn it. Oh, I haven't got my shield on. That's why. Right, okay. All I just don't want to do is I just don't want it to eat me. I don't think I 
it seems consent to just... He seems content with just smacking me around. I'm alright with that. Nope. He does want to eat me. Ow. 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 Thanks for that. Jerk. I just realised the bleeding stat reduces your stamina as well, which I, does definitely make sense. I want... You know, if you're bleeding, you're going to not be... Well, you're going to have less energy about you, because most of your blood has come out of your body. That is very mean. I didn't realise bleeding actually did that. That's the first time I've ever noticed that. Got him. Whew, that was a tough, 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 tough fight. Enemy ahead. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah, thanks for that message. You warned me in plenty of time. Dickhead. <sighs> right, okay. Let's get the old torch back out again. I can't see shit in here, Captain. That was locked. Okay, fair enough. Right, can we open this door? We can. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Oh. Uh. Can I speak to you, or are you just a bad dude? Are you one of those... He's just sort of... What is up with that thing's face? It's got one eye and a weird, creepy, smiley thing. Or is it a mask? It's probably a mask. Well. Oh, yeah, one of those bone weapon things. Ah, that's interesting. Now I can, if I want to go down there, but I think there's a safer way down there. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Now we can go that way because it says there's an enemy ahead. And of course it's the other way. I'm going to go the other way. Oh, there's multiple ways. What's this say? Fatty required ahead and then treasure. Okay. Oh, the fatty will hit it. Is that what it wants us to do? The fatty will hit it? Oh, hello. <laughs> I see, every time I light torches, you guys pop up. I'm going to assume that that is the case. I need to change my shield as well, unfortunately. Back to the uh, shield we've been using, because I only needed the shield for the secret pathway that did not want to open for some reason. But maybe I have to be like completely hollow, or like, um, you know, with like health really at the end, or use up all the humanities. I don't know. Uh, got him rather clumsily, but we got him nonetheless. Right, okay, well in that case, if Fatty is required to break that, then what I propose we do is go back to Yield Bonfire, and I'm assuming that guy will respawn. If it doesn't, we can always use a Bonfire Aesthetic later on, once we defeat the boss in this area or whatever, and do it that way. Let's see if he respawns first. I don't really want to wreck any of that equipment, although I'm sure it'll fix itself when, um, uh, when, um, yeah, he's back. That's fine. Then. Go ahead, come on in, dude. We've got a job for you. Now, this way. Come on. Oh, he broke the wall. Oh, that's cool. Okay, come on then. Get on then. Ah, shit. That is, that's not cool. I guess I should have expected that. Bollocks. I can't fight two of them. Oh, crap. Is this actually going to work? It did! Grab it! Grab it! Somehow that worked! <laughs> I don't know what it was. I think it was a malformed skull again. But we're dead. Uh. But that's okay, we got the treasure. I think it was a mal another malformed skull, which kind of is a bit pointless, really, because we've already got one. But whatever, unless it was a different type. Definitely said malformed skull. And I think we've already got one of those. 
But let's have a look. Uh, right, it's a malformed skull. I'm gonna find the damn thing. Well, actually, no, because it looks like a skull, doesn't it? No, it's not a malformed skull. It's a malformed shell! One of the malformed weapons developed in Aldia, swung like a great hammer, appears to be a fragment of a giant shell, but its precise origins are unknown. The peculiar figure, known as Lord Aldia, attempted to uncover the secrets of life itself and viewed the undead as a key to this mystery. Oh, so he didn't try to cure the thing then. He was just being a douchebag. Well, whatever's. What I will do though is change my shield back to what we were using. And with that being said, let's have a look down here then, shall we? Oh. Oh, hello, ghost lady. That looks pretty fit. How you doing? Name's Nia Rambler. Don't let them. Oh, bloody mask put her off, isn't it? Don't you dare. Ah, that's corrosive stuff. Well, that's probably a really stupid thing to do. Hi. Hi. They're not coming in, are they, until they. Oh my god, I think I've got bites. I've got bites? Come on. Come on, come and get me. There we go, there we go. There's a good boys. Come on. No. Damn it, now I'm in the corrosive thing again. It's not really what I wanted to do. Should have taken off my rings or something. Yep, I think stuff has broken. Ow. Well, he's dead now. Has my stuff broken? Not. Yeah, my jester's glove's broken and that's broken. Right. Well, let's remove. Let's. Oh, fuck's sake. I don't want to remove the bloody. <laughs> right. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, does repair powder actually fix that shit? Or does it just fix weapons? It does! But it doesn't fix those because they're broken. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's remove then that, 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 that. I think the rest of us will be fine. Ooh, I'm a zombie, dude. That's creepy. Let's just use humanity. Yeah, now he looks sexy again. Right. Oh, oh shit. Last soldier, new soldier, and corrosive. Um. Divine Blessing times two, always handy. Like a dream, by the way, skeleton ahead. <laughs> and last but not least, the Soul Geezer and Petrified Dragon Bay. Now, is that a hole ahead? There is. So we've basically explored everywhere that we need to. Groovy, okay. Right, what we'll do then is re equip our Vendric armor on for now. Might as well. St uh, I don't know if that actually has the. Yeah, we might as well re-equip our helmets, we'll have to lose our ability to gain extra souls and stuff, but to be honest with you, at this stage in the game, I don't think it matters too much. Excellent. Right, it says do not light this. I'm going to light it because I'm assuming good old uh, thingy's going to come out of nowhere and we should fight him. Yep, sure enough. Hello! Ow. Oh shit. Ow. Dude's pretty powerful. Ow. This dude is powerful. He is one dies. Ah, I think my tactic there with deflect and smash is gonna work. It might not work for much longer though. Come on, come on. No, that's not working. Come on. Come on. Oop. You've opened yourself for an attack there. And I was referring to me. <laughs> Luckily, though. Got, oh, damn it. Trigger, come on, trigger. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And, and one, and two. Oh, I missed. Bollocks to that. Did I miss? That didn't miss. That didn't effing miss. Game cheated. Oh, I've lost on my rings abilities. So I've got to put my rings back on. Ah, that actually doesn't help. Gonna be tonight, don't worry. Bollocks! Luckily, I rolled out the way this time. Yay, got him. Oh, tough bastard. Right, uh, let's see. I need my rings back. I need my rings back. Who needs his rings back? Ba -do 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 -do. There we go. Lovely, right. 
So there, we've done that then. So we can now progress a little bit further into the lab. Let's do that, shall we? Alrighty ho then. Oh, for this, these fuckers are now back to. Ooh, no, there's an item there. Weirdly enough, none of those items broke. Those bottles are impervious to. Uh, weird shit. Well, at least destruction. Give credit to Aldia, he looks after his shit. Or well, make sure if his shit does get knocked about and broken. He, uh. He knows that it'll fall to the ground safely. Good for him. Right, okie doke. Bollocks. I really don't want to fight you, sir. I'm going to have to fight you, aren't I? Oh, goody. Luckily, they're not too much of a threat, unless the other one joins in. Nah, he's not joining in. The other one's pissed, though, that big creature up there. Uh-oh, get eaten. I don't particularly want to go towards your friend. Oh, fuck her, duck, really? Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, fuck. Oh, somehow I survived that. Oh, god damn it. I'm dead. Luckily, he wanted to petrify me. I got lucky there. God damn it. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, what the. Oh, I killed him. Oh, okay, I somehow accidentally killed him, or maybe he's friended. I don't think there is friendly fire in this game. Oh, bollocks! Oh, my ass handed to me this, right? Got him. It's not easy. This is not. Oh! Oh, is that unlocked? It is locked. Okay, that's fine. Oh, my souls. Oh, no, broken. Right. Right, I've got those back then. Well, that's helpful. I mean, to be honest with you, I've already lost about... I've lost so many souls now. I've got to the point where I really don't care anymore. What I do care about is the fact that I've got to fight these over and over again. I really don't like these dudes. These are very powerful at this stage of the game as well. I'm not highly leveled up. They're just so fast and so strong. Oh, uh, something else has come out. Something else wants to come out. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. Nothing I can do. Bollocks! I hate these creatures! They're just... They're really annoying. And the reason why they're so annoying is because... They're too fast, they're too strong. They're, and in this sort of enclosed area... It's no bloody good. I, I, I should use bows and arrows, I know, and use wooden arrows. I really should, actually, and I don't think I've got any wooden arrows. Let's have a look. I've got ten, which is nowhere near enough. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run past. I think that's the best bet, really. Kill him. I'm just going to run past these fuckers because I, I really cannot be asked to fight them over and over and over again. Oh, no, but that goes here, though. Oh, no, I've got to go behind this dude. Isn't I? Is it behind this dude? Yeah, I've got to go this way. He's coming for me. <laughs> right. Spice something herb. Oh! Fucking bollocks! Bloody jump scares! This game has jump. Oh! <laughs> Even he's backing off. He's like, oh no, I ain't going that way, bro. I ain't not going down that way. Or is he? No, he's not. 
Wow. Well, that is quite something. It looks very similar to that area in Dark Souls 1, doesn't it? Underground, you know. Those long sort of pillars. Wow. That's beautiful. No, it says summon a phantom, but I can't see no phantom. I'm going to have to do this alone, aren't I? Oh well, sod it. Let's give it a go. Guardian dra Well, eyes fucked. Eyes. Ow. Oh, God. Where are you gone? Oh, there you are. Ah! Oh, fuck a duck. Well, having said that, though, it's not doing a tremendous amount. He doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage at the moment. I might be able to get away with this. He looks similar to the dragon that we saw much earlier on in the game. What if it's a similar thing? Ooh. I thought I'd broken his leg there for a second. Not saying he's not capable of death, though. I'm sure he's capable of many killings. He looks like more like a sort of like a an amalgamation of dragon and hawk. Ow. I got two seconds. Right, hang on, I should be back from tell you I'm being summoned at the wrong time as well. Ooh, I'm gonna have to die. Alright, back in a moment. Yeah, sorry about that. Got basically towed away to give my mum and dad a lift to a place they were going out to have fun in. And I was like, fuck's sake! I'm in the middle of a boss fight and they're like, do something with your life! And I'm like, fair enough, you got me there. So I had to give them a lift. But they're gone now. So back to the dragon fight! Eeeh! I don't really know what to call this one. I mean, he's called Guardian Dragon, so you know he's not that important. I mean, he's probably guarding something important, but then he might not be. I mean, at the end of the day, that's just objective. I think I'm going to call him... I don't actually know what to call him. Annoying, I think I shall call him. Annoying as fuck. Because he just likes to breathe fire everywhere, like big fire bombs, and then he wants to hop over, and he's going to fly again! And then he's going to get up there and he's going to breathe fire, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. Let's get out of the way of that. Because it's pretty hot. Alright, are you coming down, bro? There we go, finally. Oh, for fuck's sake, look, get down! I fucking hate dragons for this shit. I really fucking do. Because they just fly around and they don't play fucking fair. I mean, I know they don't want to die and they're just really powerful and all that. But at the same time, it's just like, dude, bro, you just need to... You just, you just, you just, yeah, fuck it, you're dead. Who gives a shit? Right, okay. Those two are more of a threat than that guy was anyway. Fuck. Right, let's tally on, shall we, for a little bit longer. I have to say though, whatever the case may be, this place is beautiful. I mean, if this is his lab, or if there's like a, a sort of like a, a transitional dimension thing, I mean, look, fuck man, that is so beautiful. I mean, okay, the bit down there is a bit badly rendered, but the rest of it looks great. And I can accept that, because it's probably a memory compression technique, you know? You know, it's not really that important. I can accept that, because the rest of it looks so nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Treasure, therefore, right. Right is treasure. There is treasure! It's a dragon scale. Woohoo! Got three, I think, now. I mean, look how. Wow. I think that's literally a photograph of some countryside they've just put into the game. Probably copy pasted it a few times, but I'd love to go and explore all of that down there. You know, fuck all this place. Fuck this fucking quest. I just want to go down there and enjoy the sunlight and the quests and everything. That's what I want to do. Is there any, is anything wrong with that? This just looks beautiful. Oh well. It is what it is, I suppose. I might kind of, uh, you know, make the title Dark Souls a bit redundant. Ah, oh, no, here we go, now we're back into darkness. Hmm. Hint of light. Hmm. Quite high up now. i got to say, whoever, or whichever group of people or beings fitted the lifts around these places, they must be making a killing. Like, lift engineering is actually a really, really, really uh, 
you know, money-making job, I've heard. Oh, then it goes back down again. Oh, it doesn't stay up. That sucks. Oh, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Well, you can summon it back with the lever. Right, anyway, let's march on, shall we? I would like to meet a bonfire, though, or at least touch one. Or full, or full, full bot. Oh. 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 Oh, oh. Oh dear. That's a lot of dragons. That is a lot of dragons. I think they all look quite similar to the uh, to the garden dragon. Oh dear. That that is Oh 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 boy. Okay, well, maybe I tooted my horn so well. Oh look, magical mystical ladies here. Do you like the view? Do you come here for the view? I don't blame you. It is pretty beautiful, isn't it? I mean, look at this shit. I could watch these for hours. Wow. Bearer of the curse. Long have I awaited one such as you. One who might shatter the shackles of fate. One who can set me free. What you want set free from what? Of the curse. It was my own manifestation that led you here. Yeah. The ancient dragon has watched over the world for eons past. Okay. Take this. Aged feather. Do not resist. The dragon welcomes you. Okay. What do you mean by manifestation? I mean, it kind of makes sense that like, you're not really real. You're like an hallucinational type thing because you keep like appearing vast distances pretty quickly and you don't move your mouth and all that. Are you a manifestation of the dragon then? I don't know. Hmm. I'm intrigued. All right, lass. Well, whoever you are, real or not real. I shall go and see to say dragon. I guess, I hope, maybe. I do know that we have to meet a dragon. Apparently it's quite burly. Ah, bonfire! Wunderbar. Do you know what? We're going to have to wait for that for the next video, I'm afraid, because I've ran out of dying because of the lift. If I didn't have to give my parents a lift, I would go further. But again, it allows me to, um, you know, before we progress, make sure I'm doing the right thing, if I missed anything or messed anything up, that kind of thing. And yeah, the door with the hollowiness, what the bloody hell was all that about? Why didn't it work? Again, do you have to be like really dead 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 as in your health has to be as low as possible not like as in your actual health but you know when you die and you lose health does it have to be like half health or whatever it is good work <laughs> my bad right okay so yeah uh, next video then we'll either progress through here we'll go back and do something else whatever you guys and girls want me to do and then yeah we'll see but until then Oh, and uh, clarity on the lady. She says she's a manifestation, obviously meaning that she's a figment of someone's imagination or she's a projection of something. Does there f Is she a projection of the dragon or her own thing or what? I don't know. Whatever, something along that lines would be nice to hear. But anyway, until then, can I say thank you very much for watching if you have done. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take it easy, have a good one. All the best, all the best. Take it easy, have a good one. And I hope to see you in the next video. Something along those lines. I've forgotten how I say goodbye now. Anyway, bye.